Okay folks, today I'm going to show you around this 1966 Muncie M20 four-speed transmission. This transmission is in awesome condition from what I can see. It was taken out of a car in the early 80s and has been in cool dry storage ever since. It even appears to have the original GM. You see how it's kind of a black with the white fibers gasket on it. So I'm not even sure that the uh, cover had ever been off before I pulled it. Um, you can see it's an M20 by the two grooves in the input shaft here. And uh, everything on this transmission is just beautiful. Um, you'll see more in the pictures. But the casting number on the transmission is 3885010. This uh, case was used in the 66 and 67 model years. Um, it was the first case to utilize the larger one inch pin. And uh, you can see the pin here has no like peen marks around it or silicone, things like that that you would see on one that's been messed with. Uh, it still also has the original fresh locks around the uh, bearing retainer here. And uh, it's in neutral now. You'll see, spins nice and easy with two fingers. See the, uh, the engagement teeth on both the brass Cinco rings and the gears themselves look quite nice. You can even see factory paint marks on the inside of the sliders as well as probably the yeah here on the uh, cluster gear as well anyway just a real nice transmission I'm going to show you that it shifts through all the gears nicely and uh, yeah see the listing for more pictures and things so there's one gear again two fingers just real nice Another cool thing about this transmission is I could not find a VIN number anywhere on it. So this would be as close to your original transmission as you could find. Again, here we go, just keep going. All the threads are in awesome shape, there's no hilla coils or stripped threads or partially stripped threads or anything like that and we'll go to reverse here with our trusty crescent wrench i think let's see if i can get this i'm uh sliding this strap on this camera i gotta take it off of there anyway now we're in reverse so reverse is always a little stiffer but still two fingers you can see that everything is moving opposite of itself i'm turning the shaft Let's see, what would that be? Counterclockwise. And this guy is moving the opposite direction, clockwise. So that is reversed. Then we'll go back to neutral here. And you'll see that we are again spinning nice and smooth. Just an amazing original transmission that, like I said, has never looked like it's been messed with at all. Um, all of the ears are in really good shape. There's no cracks or welds or anything any anywhere on this transmission. The uh, bearing retainer is not all worn out. The input shaft doesn't have like a worn area on the uh, on the pilot bearing area. All the ship forks and everything look awesome. Just everything about this transmission looks amazing. It's bare aluminum. There's no paint or coatings or anything like that. Um, I can't imagine finding a nicer one. And uh, yeah, the only stamp I see on the top is 254 to one. So this could have been a like over-the-counter transmission and that may be the reason that it doesn't have a VIN number or anything on it and uh, the speed shop that have it or whatever just uh, verified that it was the first gear was 254 to 1. I do not know the answer to that. Um, also the case hasn't been drug around swap meets and things like that for years and have all kinds of scarring on the bottom of the case. It's just uh, an excellent original example of a Muncie M20 with the large uh, the large cluster pin there. So if you've been looking for one, don't miss this one. They rarely come up for sale. And even when they do, they usually have something going on. This one, just if, if I had this transmission myself and had it ready for a vehicle, I would put it right in because there's no signs of excessive wear or brakes or anything like that. So it seems like it's just ready to go in a car. It even still has the speedo adapter and all that stuff on it. So uh, anyway, if you've been looking for one, don't miss this one, guys.